guys, so right now we're going to be looking at the anatomy and how to properly dissect our sea star, which is an echinoderm. So the materials you will need are your dissecting tray, uh, scissors, a probe or two, and gloves and goggles if you wish. Um, the gloves I will make you guys wear in my class. The goggles are not mandatory. It's up to you to make sure there's nothing that flies out and gets into your eye. All right, here we go. All right, so let's take our preserved sea star and put it in our dissecting pan with its dorsal or ab oral, which is its top surface upward. Now remember, a sea star is an echinoderm, which means it has radial symmetry. It's only found in the sea. And echinoderms mean spiny skin in Greek. And you can see the spines on the top. Now again, the sea star doesn't really have an anterior and posterior. We have our aboral side on top and our oral side on the bottom with its oral cavity here. All right, so the sea star has five arms here attached to a central disc, which is right here. So if you're following along with your own dissection, I want you to count and record the number of arms or rays the sea star has. Um, now I want you to locate the small round hard plate called the madreporite on top of the central disc, and mine is right here. And water is going to enter into this, um, into the water vascular system. All right, now we're going to turn the sea star over to its ventral or oral surface, which is its underside. And we're going to locate the mouth in the center of the central disc, which is right here. Um, and if you look closely, you can find the ring of oral spines surrounding the mouth right here. And they're a little bit tough if you touch them. All right, so another thing we're going to look at um, is the groove that extends down the underside of each arm. And this is called the ambulacral groove. And you can label this on your diagram. And we also have numerous, numerous little tube feet. And these are going to be part of the water vascular system and help with um, movement and feeding. And they're very soft, and there's lots and lots of them. In our dissection, so we can look at the internal anatomy of the sea star, we're going to need to cut off tips of the rays. So pick a ray that you want to use and just cut off the very tip of it with your scissors, like that. So now we're going to be making cuts in the arm or the ray of the sea star. So you'll look at the diagram in your handout for where you should make the cuts, but you want to start at the end where you cut off the tip and stay as close to the surface as possible so you don't damage any of the internal organs. And cut slowly all the way up to the top, and you're going to go all the way up to where the central disc is. Now when you're done, you're going to cut along this side as well, and then gently pull up the skin of the sea star, and you'll see these internal organs inside. And we be careful not to rip any of these parts, so you can use uh, your dissecting probe if you need to. And so in the end, it'll look like this. Alright, you can see, if you've cut away more than one surface of the arms of the sea star, you can see that they have identical structures in each arm or ray, so identical organs. And the first thing you're going to see are these two long digestive glands, and these are called the pyloric cica, and these are going to make enzymes to help digest food in their stomachs. So you can label these on your diagram as well. And then I want you to cut a circular flap up here on our central disc, and I've already done that, and you can then open it up and see the stomach under the central disc, which is right here. Um, if you be careful, do not cut, you want to cut around our madreporite, which is right here on my sea star. So try not to cut that away as you're lifting up your central disc. All right, um, so let's take one ray and remove actually our pyloric cica down here. The small little organs, and these are small on ours because our sea star is not in breeding season. Let's see if you guys can see them right here. These are our gonads right here and right here. Let's remove them on this side too, see if you can see a little bit better. No, they're still pretty tiny. Okay, and so our gonies, our gonads are going to be used for reproduction. And again, you can label these on your diagram, and they're kind of hard to see on our starfish or sea star video because they are so small. Um, but it is because it is not breeding season for the sea stars that we have preserved. All right. So the next thing we're going to look at um, down here, this is the other side of that ambulacral ridge that we saw when we flipped the star sea star over, right here. All right. 
So this ridge kind of feels like a zipper if you put your finger along it. And they're actually attached to the tube feet. And so the top, the bulb-like top of a tube foot is called the ampulla. And this sac is going to work like the top of an eyedropper to create suction. And so the bottom of the tube foot is a sucker. And you can label this in your diagram as well. So the next thing we're going to look at are inside the soft body wall, there are skeletal plates right here called ossicles. You can label these in your diagram too. Okay, the next thing we're going to look at are these lateral canals um, that connect to a circular canal called the ring canal, and that's up here in our central disc. Now things up here are a little hard to see, but what you can see if you find your madrepore right here again, and you lift up, you can see uh, another canal, which is like a little tube right here, and this is called our stone canal. And remember, we said our madrepore is part of our water vascular system, so water will enter here down the stone canal, go into the ring canals, and then be able to go down into other lateral canals to which the tube feet are attached. That's it for the anatomy we'll be observing today. Um, if you are finished, make sure you've labeled everything necessary in your diagrams on your handouts. And if you're doing the dissection along with me, make sure you clean up your materials. All right, thanks for hanging out with us.